Hello, in today's video we are going to be talking about chart. Charts are the best way to track your key parameters values across multiple executions. The chart can be accessed by clicking on Open Chart in the play bar. Its height can be freely adjusted. You can plot an item to the chart by right clicking on it and selecting Show in Chart. You can also remove a node using the same method. Note that only pools and registers can be plotted to chart. Changing a pool's color also changes the color displayed in the chart for that pool. There are three chart types that you can select from, and each node can have its individual type. You can highlight a node that interests you or toggle visibility for nodes that are less important. There is also an option to toggle between using left and right scale for each individual node. This is especially helpful when having two plotted items that have a very big difference in values so that both nodes can be tracked properly. Charts shine the most when doing multiple quick plays. In using charts, you can quickly iterate between a large number of executions and see how your key parameters evolve over time. You can access each individual run by clicking on it in the Run History tab to the left. You can also export the CSV of those runs or a PNG file of the chart. To sum up, charts in combinations with quick plays are the best method for generating a multitude of different runs in a short amount of time. You can use charts to validate your data and balance parameters. In our next video, we will be talking about pushing and pulling resources.